Hey guys, even here. So I saw this guy, I saw this photo of him. I'm sure you saw it before. It was pretty popular, this photo. But I was thinking, is this even real? Is something wrong with this photo? I mean, is, was this photoshopped? Was it filtered or something? But it actually turns out that it's not. That this guy is real. His name is Laszlo Kirali. I probably butchered his name. He's Hungarian. And he looks amazing. He's an IB pro in classic physique, which is also amazing. Now, if you take a look at his conditioning right here, you will notice that he's absolutely 100% peeled. I can't imagine what these glutes look uh, in person. I only saw once in my life on a bodybuilding stage a bodybuilder that was uh, a really conditioned, but like something like this, literally. And it was insane seeing that in person. And uh, on the photos, that guy didn't look this good. So this in person, I'm sure it looks mind-blowing, mind-blowing. And uh, the thing is that I want to talk about in this video is the future of classic physique. Can guys like this be the future of classic physique? So here you can see that this guy is not only back and glutes, he's really impressive from the front. So he has a small, narrow waist. He has complete physique. He has an amazing back, great glutes and hamstrings, quads are spot on. He has very, very good symmetry. It's scary how symmetrical this guy is. This is not something you see very often. You can always fi find some disbalances in everybody's physique, pretty much. But this guy looks really symmetrical. And you can see that he has arms, he has chest, he has lats, he has symmetrical and developed abs. Everything is spot on. But we haven't seen him compared to the top guys, to Chris Bumstead himself. Now, is this just these photos? Does he really look like this on the video? Or in person? Well, I don't know but in person, but I can show you a little video. Here you can see him standing next to a bunch of guys and he's absolutely standing out. He is the only guy with the classic lines and also I mean, with the conditioning, with the development and everything. He just looks proper. He just looks spot on. I mean, everything is there. Conditioning, details, a lot of details. Look at the deep separations, the muscle maturity. He's really good. He's really good. And he really deserves a chance to be compared to the rest of the top guys. I'm not sure at this point what's going to happen with this guy. Nobody knows, not even himself. What kind of uh, turn will he take in the future? Is something bad going to happen to him? Because, because that's always a possibility in bodybuilding. You can never really count on that. People really so many times said that this guy is the future Mr. Olympia. This guy, that guy. And these young guys just die or quit bodybuilding or they have a health scare or a serious health issue or like a physical injury, a muscle tear or something. So you can never really be sure about this stuff. But if everything goes well for this guy, I can definitely see him in a top six on a Mr. Olympia stage. Can he win the Mr. Olympia? I think he can. I really think he can. I really think he would compare well against guys like Chris Bumstead. Yeah, I know, Chris is amazing, Chris is great, but what is classic physique? It never can be just resembling 90s, um, actually 80s or the 70s or the 60s or any kind of era. It needs to be a separate thing for this very era right now. So what is the point of classic physique? It is similar to bodybuilding really, but with a weight cap, a little bit different posing, and other things such as lines that are taken into consideration. So this guy has one of the most important things and that's details. So first, if you're not big, the only way for you to look big, to look impressive, is to have deep separations. And this guy has super deep separation. Uh, not only because of his conditioning, but because of the muscle maturity and because of his genetics. So whatever it is, he looks freaking impressive. And just give him some time to, to, to grow a little bit more. He's just a little bit too skinny. When he grows uh, big enough, when he becomes as big as Chris Bumstead, and when he actually finally wins the pro show and uh, stands up there, I'm not sure if this guy is an elite pro because his profile says IBB pro. I assume it's pro league. I'm not really sure if you guys know, let me know. But if this guy is up there on that stage, I think he would look, uh, he would definitely be comparable if nothing else. I'm not sure if he's gonna blow Chris Bumstead away, which is also possible with his conditioning. So once again, what is necessary in, in, in classic physique? Well, if you can be as big as you want, you need to show details. You need to bring insane level of conditioning. 
The next thing is small waist. The other things are beautiful shape, great symmetry and nice proportions. This guy has it all. He has wide shoulders, small waist, great V taper, great details, insane conditioning, big arms. Big arms are also very important in my opinion, that's just my taste. I would like to have bigger arms. I wanted my physique to, to, to be like that because big arms look aesthetic for me. And I think that's what classic physique also should be about. I mean, it's not like a must, but it's a plus, a big plus. So here you can see this guy who looks absolutely amazing. And I'm thinking this is what classic physique is going to be in the future. Chris Bumstead has everything probably better than this guy, aside from conditioning maybe, and the arms, and uh, overall details. So basically, if this guy brings up the size and uh, gets to Chris's uh, level on everything else, and keeps his small waist, great V taper, big arms, of course, and this kind of conditioning, he will challenge. He will challenge Chris Bumstead. And I think these guys with small waists, with great V tapers, with good arms, with insane, insane level of conditioning. Now, Chris can also improve his conditioning. Hopefully, he will, he will. But I would like to see super, super dry physiques. Yeah, I mean, if your physique is not super dry, you may look even a little bit more aesthetic because it looks more natural. But I don't think that's classic physique. That's Mr. Golden Era. Nick Strength and Power Golden Era. That's that, that's that. But if you talk about classic physique, details. I want to see details. Deep, deep separation and crazy level of conditioning. Paper, thin skin. That's what I consider classic physique. And I love it that way. And that's pretty much what it is. Lines are also very important, but conditioning and details are pretty much what is winning the shows. And also small ways. Small ways is very, very important. So guys, you need to learn. Classic physique is not exactly what we wanted. It's not gonna be uh, copying 70s bodybuilders. It's something else. It's something else. And it's, li and it's nice. And it's nice. I like it. I like it. I mean, I'm sure you like it as well. It's refreshing, it's interesting, it's new, it's developing, it's growing, and it's happening right now when you are around. So be a part of it, support it, give me your opinion, speak about it, but if you ask me the way it's going, I like it, I like it, and I consider this guy a potential to be in the top spots. I'm sure you saw this video, it went viral recently, it's not that uh, new actually, it's been posted on this guy's uh, Instagram account six weeks ago. For some reason, now it went wild. So this guy was posing with a pretty impressive physique, you can notice it, and this old creepy dude comes over and tries to grab him, tries to grab his upper thigh, almost touching his uh, genitals, right? So <laughs> not, not something uh, that you would like to happen to you in your locker room. Many people would just, you know, not react this way. I believe that most people would react much more aggressively, probably would physically attack this dude after this. I mean, this is really uncomfortable, but uh, it happened to this guy. Anyways, this is how I heard about him, so I checked his profile. And uh, this guy actually has a pretty impressive physique. Really nice wee taper. Not very big, but very nice looking physique. Not super conditioned also, not super big, but I like it. I like it. I think this guy has a good potential in classic physique now, of course, he needs to work uh, on improving a lot of things. I watched other, other photos of him and I'm not gonna show them to you, I don't wanna analyze his physique and uh, tell you about his negative points. If he's not doing vacuum, his lower uh, midsection isn't really looking that well, his abs are not very developed or symmetrical or whatever, but basically overall his physique is very impressive and I think this is what classic physique is going to be all about in the future in terms of shape. But of course, this guy needs to do a lot of growing and uh, he needs to come completely peeled and shredded. But this tiny waist is very, very important in classic physique. The V taper, big arms, which this guy kind of has. So basically, this is what classic physique is going to be about. I mean, I believe in the future. Small waist, great V taper, pretty solid arms, great symmetry. And on top of that all, insane level of conditioning. If you can't get big, you can get super conditioned and look bigger, look more impressive. So I think that's gonna happen. And if you're talking about the future of classic physique, I wanted to give a shout out to my friend, this man right here. And you can see that he has an amazing physique, very classic. And this guy is totally old school. He really believes in classic. Me personally, I'm gonna compete in classic, but I like open bodybuilding more. I just fit in classic physique and that's why I'm gonna do it. 
but this guy is really all about the, the old school bodybuilding and you can see that he has a physique like a freaking stature here you can see against these other guys this guy on the right actually beat him because of the size but this is classic this is a body classic or classic bodybuilding and uh, in my opinion he looked uh, probably better i mean he wasn't as big he he wasn't but uh, he had the shape and i think that's what should be valued more the shape the lines the conditioning as well he was also more conditioned than this guy on the right anyway since i'm giving shout outs i better give a shout out to myself as well i'm also competing in classic physique this year in april my prep has just begun and if you want to follow me follow me on instagram i'm posting some stuff i'm trying to post more here you can see my transformation this is basically five months out both of these photos this one on the left was five months out of my last competition in 2018 and this one on the right is myself five months out of my next competition in april and you can check it out you can tell me if i made some gains but uh, i'm pretty sure i have it's about 10 kilos difference that's like 25 pounds or something so yeah we'll see we'll see how it looks when i get shredded and if i get shredded i hope my health is gonna be fine in bodybuilding you can never be sure what's gonna happen but if everything goes well i'm right now uh, actually doing my prep very hard that's why i'm not posting that often because i'm really focused i'm doing cardio and empty stomach in the morning i'm training in the evening and i'm really focused on that, getting my meals in and on staying on the track and to really uh, put my mind into bodybuilding as much as i can so i'm gonna create as good of a physique as i can i'm gonna try to get really shredded and we'll see what happens but as far as the future of classic physique i believe things are gonna change i think we're gonna see totally different top six in the next coming years i'm pretty sure nobody's touching chris bumstead at least for a couple of years from now brion ainsley will he somehow improve and beat uh, and beat chris i don't think so i think uh, brion did everything that he could he improved so much from last year and still didn't win it so i think chris will stay the king for quite a while but i think the top six is going to change uh, rapidly and eventually it's going to be insanely amazing what do you guys think what is the future of classic physique what is going to become whatever is on your mind from this video whether it is the first guy that i talked about with crazy conditioning or is it uh, my friend that uh, is competing in classic this year as well as myself whatever you think about my friend's physique tell me down below whatever you think about my physique tell me down below if you wanna if you wanna follow my progress follow me on instagram maybe i should make some videos for my youtube channel about myself if you think so tell me down below in the comment section what do you think about the future of classic physique? Do you think this guy is going to be able to challenge uh, Chris Bumstead? Is it going to be all about conditioning and those crazy details? Whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section. Like the video and subscribe for more bodybuilding videos like this. All the best guys and bye bye.